Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to episode 32. We're over a third of the way through the 90 day challenge, which is good news. Winter has finally hit McCroom and I guess probably the rest of Ireland and the rest of England, Scotland, Wales, etc. and Europe as well. It's cold. It's cold, it's wet, it's, I was going to say miserable, but it's not actually that bad. We don't have snow, like many other places in Europe and many other places in the Northern Hemisphere. Now today, I'm going to be a little bit political, so if you're not interested in UK politics and Irish politics and European politics, then I suggest you skip to the end give me a like give me a subscribe give me a comment and come back and watch another video but let's just jump into it first of all let me state that i am biased i live in the eu and i hold a british passport as a result of the brexit vote for which i was ineligible due to my residency status despite paying taxes to the British government, I've lost around 19% of my income. Why? Well, because the pound has fallen in value. And why has it fallen in value? Well, largely due to the uncertainty in the financial markets. The markets like consistency and certainty. And need I say that in the last two years, have produced anything but certainty. Now let's get to the nub of the problem. And this, while it gives me no pleasure to say this, the problem is the Irish border, and this, I have said from the beginning, will be the sticking point in any negotiations. The Brexiteers and the Conservative Party keep on saying that this is a problem for the EU and Ireland, and that they're quite happy not to have a hard border in Ireland. Now, this is ridiculous on two counts. Firstly, from the British point of view, there will be nothing to stop immigrants crossing the border from the Republic to the North and thus gaining entry to the UK. Secondly, from the EU perspective, the Irish border becomes the border into the EU and therefore has to be protected in order to maintain the standards set by the EU. Both the EU and the Irish government have stated that this is immutable, and understandably so. But this fact seems to escape the Brexiteers. If the Good Friday Agreement is to be protected, there can be no hard border in Ireland. Yet if Britain leaves the EU without agreement, then there will inevitably be a hard border. There are only two solutions available. One, stay in a customs union within the EU, with the result that Britain will be subject to all the EU rules without having any say in the imposition of these rules, or two, stay within the EU with full say in all EU law and consequently the ability to contribute to the development of the EU into a more democratic institution which is more acceptable to the British people. Now, I would refer you to a previous video that I did recently calling upon Mrs May to accept the mood of Parliament and of the British people and to call for a second referendum, arguing that her refusal is undemocratic. Now, I repeat this call. Let the people of the United Kingdom make the decision, having been made aware of the true facts of what Brexit really means. If this referendum supports Brexit, then there would appear to be no choice but to impose a hard border in Ireland with the likely consequent descent into chaos in the north, completely undermining the positive steps that have been achieved in the past 21 years. Mrs May, do the right thing. That's it for today. If you disagree with me, then please say so in the comments below. If you agree with me, please say so in the comments below. Let us have the discussion.
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please give me a like, and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye for now.